Hi dears, in last class we completed up to the example 7, now we will move to the example 8. See the question, an insurance company selected 2000 drivers at random, that is without any preference of one driver over another, okay. One insurance company is selected by drivers, you select 2000 drivers, so all of us will be selected by 2000, okay. In a particular city to find a relationship between a age and accident the data obtained are given in the following table they are concerned they are selecting the drivers uh, the relation between age and accidents okay see here there are the data they gave in this uh, in this table age of drivers that is uh, 1 0 1 2 3 over 3 that is this is the counting of accidents they did okay uh, age is 18 to 29 30 to 50 above 50 okay now the question is find the probability of following events for a driver chosen at random from the city okay being 18 to 29 years of age and having exactly three accident in one year this is the event one so n of uh, p of e p of e1 equal to what they said in this question 18 to 29 three accidents only okay 18 to 29 three accident is 61 so 61 by 2000 okay this 2000 how it will come i already told in the term okay next is being 30 to 50 years of age and having one or more accident in a year okay one or more means one two three above three everything will come so uh, age is 30 to 50 30 to 50 one or more that means 125 60 22 80 this four also you want to add and then you want to write the probability okay now i am going to add this 125 60 22 80 uh, so 10 15 5 carrying 1 so 10 11 12 12 2 carrying 1 2 uh, 225 so p of e2 equal to 225 divided by 2000 okay next one having no accident in one year in one year they will uh, zero accident so you have to add this 3 okay i am adding here itself 5 10 to 0 carrying 1 10 13 so 1305 divided by 2000 for this p of a3 equal to 1305 divided by 2000 okay now we will move to the example 9 okay See here, consider the following frequency, uh, consider the frequency distribution table which gives the weight of 38 students of a class. They are giving about the table about 38 of the weight of 38 students, okay. So, the denominator will be 38. See here, uh, th 31 to 30, this is weight, how many person have this weight, okay, that only they gave. First sum is, find the probability that the weight of student in the class lies in the interval 45, 46 to 50 kg. So, 46 to 50, how many numbers? 3. So, P of A1 equal to 46 to 50, 3 numbers. So, 3 by 38. Next one, see here. Give two events in this contest uh, and uh, having probability 0. Uh, 0 or kamari uh, na or contest ho. Uh, probability 1 or kamari yu nama kuduka no. 0 or no abdi na. And the weight ye nama and the students te irukka kuda. This so for 0. Idhil arukka first. So a subdivision edutthi kai. 0 or no abdi na. Ippad the weight on the 30, 30 below abdi na edutthi kondo chukonga. Yaar in the student in me 30 below ya weight ye illa. So 30 below edukkum bodhu 0 vandhiru. So uh, weight between weight below. Below 30 kg. This is the answer for first one. So, second subdivision. Other having probability 1. Probability 1 or no. Abdi in so, so, probability. Here 38 is the 38 by 38 cancel. Ahum, 1 is So, here 38 or no. Abdi na, all students. All students. Even I include. Pannu. So, that is the weight. 31. Um, 30 above. So, 30 above weight. So, we will include. So, the, so, the weight, uh, so, that line is. Which above 30 kg. That's all. Now we will move to the next example.
Tenth example, 50 seeds were selected at random from each of 5 bags of seeds and were kept under, under, um, under standardized conditions favorable to germination. After 20 days, number of seeds which had germinated in each collection were counted and recorded as follows. Okay, nothing ma or bag la vandu seeds suchurkanga, other than the seeds said karada suchurkanga. Other first bag level or gna 40 irk, second bag la 48, third bag la 42, fourth bag la 39, fifth bag la 41 irk. Aula da. It is the rumba long lines are kuturkanga. So no need to worry about this. Just consider this uh, table column. Okay, now we are going moving to the question. What is the probability of of germination of more than 40 seeds in a bag. 40 seeds, 40 seeds ka adhigamma irukkaradu ki enna apdiin So 40 seeds, above 47 seeds means 1, 2, 3. In 3 bags we have above 40. So P of A1 equal to 3 by 5. Next 49 seeds in a bag. 49 seeds where we have. So here we don't have 49. So the probability is 0 P of e2 equal to 0 by 5 that is 0 0 by anything is 0 more than 35 seeds in a bag more than 35 seeds means everything will be more than 35 only so the probability is 5 5 by 5 so probability of e3 equal to 5 by 5 if you cancel this you will get 1 okay what uh, the, the um, explanation of this seed is i uh, this uh, lines is i will tell in uh, tamil just listen here this is bag kula seeds vandu potu vekkranga germination appadina adu molachu varula andha molak payir ella molakattu vola adu mari potu vechum bodu 20 days ku apuram adu over bag la enna pannichirukanga 50 seeds vandu potu vechirukanga adile vandu ella seeds me molachu varu nu solla mudiyadhu illa so 20 days ku apuram eduthu paakum bodu first bag la vandu 40 seeds second bag la vandu 48 seeds third bag la 42 seeds ivlo seeds vandu fourth bag la 39 fifth bag la 41 ivlo seeds vandu molachu vandirukku adha vechi nama calculate Okay, now up to this example sum is over. Now we will move to the exercise sums. Exercise 15.1. Only one exercise only you have in this chapter. See here. In a cricket match, a bats woman hit the boundary six times out of 30 balls she plays. Other 30 balls will under the six times in a panitanga boundary. Touch panitanga. Find the probability that she did not hit a boundary. Six times on the boundary touch panirkanga. That is 30 balls. Le, six times on the boundary touch panirkanga. Wow, how many balls on the touch panamarpanga? So 30 minus 6, that is 24 balls. She did not hit the boundary. So probability of uh, probability of this event, P of E equal to 24 by 30. That's all. Now, second sum. 1500 families with two children were selected randomly and the following data were recorded. Okay, uh, 1500 families let the children's on the connect panel. Okay, uh, number of girls in a family. Uh, rend, uh, Rendu girl child rukka families on the 475, 1 rukka on the 814, 0 on the 2211. Okay, compute the probability of your family chosen at random having two girls. Two girls means how many the how many family have two girls 475 so for this answer is 475 divided by total family is 1500 so 1500 for one children 814 so 814 divided by 1500 next to no girls means 2211 so 211 divided by 1500 now we will move to the third sum Third sum, refer to example 5, section 14.4, chapter 14. That is chapter 14, let us example 5, refer to example 5. Find the probability that a student of the class was born in August. Okay, August will be the probability. So, we are going to write P of A equal to, we will refer the example 5. See the example 5, this is, in a particular class, section of class 9, 40 students were asked about the month of their birth and the following graph was represented for the data so obtained. That is 40, uh, nine, class 9th, 40 students have the date of birth of the assembled. So, to, uh, denomination will be 40, okay. This is August, how the numbers? See here, 6, August plus 6. So, the probability is 6 by 40. I am going to write 6 by 40. 40. Okay, this is the answer for third sum. Now we will move to the fourth sum. Fourth sum, see here. Three coins are toasted simultaneously 200 times with the following frequency of different 
outcomes okay outcome three heads we are getting 23 times yeah two heads 72 one head 77 no head 28 okay if the three coins are simultaneously tossed again compute the probability of two heads coming up the two heads were the probability so p of e equal to P of E equal to 2 heads. 2 heads is how many times? 72. 72 divided by how many times they are toasting the uh, coins? 200 times. So, 72 divided by 200. This is the answer for second sum. Sorry, fourth sum. Up to this, the class is over. And we will continue in the next class. Thank you, dears.